Hi, well in this film I'm going to show you my workbenches and I've had these for many many years and I've modified them a little bit as time's gone on. Anyway I thought it might be helpful for you if I actually show you what they're like and then if you're thinking about making your own workbench or adapting your own it might perhaps give you an idea. Well in my workshop I've got two workbenches and I've got another third workbench outside in the open for nice sunny days. Anyway my two workbenches inside are both very similar and part of the reason for that really to make them modular is so I can join them together as I have here and if say I'm planing long pieces of wood or working on a large bit of furniture I've got the space but equally if I want to shift them around the shop I can. They're both quite small as benches go and they're just under two foot wide and just over three foot long so that gives me a total bench length of six feet. Oh, one of the things I like to have with a workbench is hold downs for when you're planing wood or working on wood. So on my bench I've got a couple of collars here, a couple of steel collars recessed in, same on the neighbouring bench, and I've got one of these old hold fast devices. Like that. And all you do with these, you, you have your piece of wood you want to plane. Like that. And you, you clamp it down. Now so you don't mark the wood, you I have a little container here which I keep my sandpaper and wooden blocks in. But you can just hold it down like that, do up the screw and it holds it really firm. Which if you're working on that or doing some planing it's pretty useful actually. So that's my bench hold fast system and I have these collars on all my benches. Okay. Well the next feature I like on a workbench is a good sturdy vice. And on this bench I've got a large nine inch metal vise with massive jaws and I'll open it up. It's got a quick release which saves a bit of time. Nice quick release lever and look at that. <laughs> you really can hold nice pieces of wood in there and it's absolutely rock solid. These vices are very heavy so what I have done with my benches is actually put shelves underneath and they're loaded up with lots of heavy stuff and it makes the whole bench sit really firmly. But these quick release vices are very nice and they're very reasonable to buy these days. It has a nice big handle on it. The other thing I like to have are more bench dogs. <laughs> and this vice has a front dog, so it's this little metal tooth that comes up here. And the reason I like these, you can hold wood up against them. And what I have recessed into my bench is a flush mounted bench dog and it has a little screw on it and you can raise it and it's got little serrated teeth on the front of it so you can just bring it up a little bit it doesn't have to be very far like that and then if say you want to plane a large piece of wood you can bring your vice out and clamp it in and it holds it again really firmly and what you can do to save marking your piece of wood you can use these little wooden blocks again both on the metal dog fair and on the teeth dog fair. But it's a great way if you're doing planing work to be able to hold your wood down nice and firmly on the bench like that. And it's obviously adjustable because of the vise. At the end of this bench I've also got another little vise. And really the only reason I have it down here is to act again as another bench dog. And you can clamp up a piece of wood in there and you can use it as an end stop essentially. Again when you're planing or working on something you've got that as an end stop there. Well I do quite a bit of metal work so I've also got a dedicated engineer's vise and this is a record number three which is a lovely sturdy four inch vise and I've mounted it on another block of wood right over the leg of the bench so it's really solid and firm and it's got a swiveling base so you can actually swivel the vise round. The other thing I've done with this vise I've got these soft fibre jaws which I find are really great when you're working with things like brass. So this really means my woodworking bench doubles up for bits of metal working as well such as making tools and such like so it's really useful and these vices they're lovely quality and they've got a nice flat base at the end here which you can sort of use as an anvil as long as you don't abuse them too much but they take a delicate taps on there and it's a nice good surface and there's a pipe ridge mount here for working on pipes as well but it's got a little bit raised collar for pipes. So yeah lovely vice and that's on my other bench. Well I've actually made it so that this metal working vice is removable so it's actually held to the bench by this continental vice. 
so I can undo it. It's on a wooden mount. It lifts away and I'm left with a nice big wooden vise here which has wooden jaws so it's great for not damaging work at the end of the bench for other work. So this is the other vice I have. So my benches are quite well loaded with vices but I still feel you never have too many vices really. Then finally I've got one more quick release vice on the front of the other bench and I've made it so that this vice lines up with the other quick release vice if I'm working on very large bits of work. And again it's got a quick release mechanism, slightly smaller but a nice sturdy vice nonetheless. Well for the front facings of my benches I've used hardwood. So all the wood for these benches has come either from pallets or out of skips. <laughs> so they haven't cost me anything at all. And these front edges they're all oak, good lucky finds. So you do find actually the occasional pallet has oak pieces on it in this country. Anyway that makes a good firm edge there. The tops are layers of pine, some places I've doubled up the thicknesses. The legs are from pallets, nice and substantial with half jointing struts all across. And right down the bottom of the legs I've put in razor blocks and really the reason for that when I made these benches, I think I made them about 30 years ago, I had them rather short and it was fine for sawing having them lower but I've now got a dedicated saw horse and I find for day-to-day -day working it's far better having them raised up so they're 34 and a half inches high which I find is a good height for working in and you'll see I've got shelves underneath which strut and you know, brace them nicely but also I've loaded these shelves with lots of heavy bits of equipment to give the benches more mass and to stop them moving around as I use them and it works really well I find that they're great actually my outside bench is very similar construction to the ones inside. It's about 40 years old, this one, and I made it with my dad. It's again got a quick release vise, and it's also got a mechanics vise on top as well. Apart from that, it's all made out of pallet wood, and I store lots of firewood to dry underneath it, and that gives it a nice bit of weight. Now, I hope you've enjoyed seeing this film on my benches and perhaps it's given you a few ideas if you're making your own bench.